Hello Scorpio, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Scorpio. Sorry, my mic is all weird. Uh, for the sign of Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. And it will be from the 22nd to the 28th of March 2021. So let's get straight into your reading and pull your overarching energy or message for the week. So message for Scorpio, please. Angels, spirits, guides, message for our lovely Scorpios. Thank you. 22nd to the 28th of March 2021. Two cards. Five of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups. Okay. Message for Scorpio, please. Angels, Spirits, Guides. Message for our lovely Scorpios. Thank you. I've got in the near future. Let's get another <clears throat> card to go with that. Sorry, I, I was doing a smudge before and it's really getting to my throat. <laughs> I think I've over smudged. <laughs> okay, what do we have for Scorpio, please? Angels, spirits, guides, message for Scorpio. Oh, romance, okay. Okay. I'm going to pull three cards, Scorpio. The first card is the issue or challenge you face. Second card is advice from spirit. Third card is your near future outcome. And then we clarify, go deep into the message as we always do. And it won't resonate with everybody. So just take what resonates with you as always. Okay. Message for Scorpio, please. Angels, spirits, guides. Okay. Thank you. The star. <laughs> Ace of Wands. That's the advice from Spirit, and the world is your near future outcome. Okay, let's clarify, go deep into the message. Okay, what do we have for Scorpio, please? Angels, Spirit's Guides, message for our lovely Scorpios. Thank you. Message for Scorpio. Hmm. We've got the world again. Two of Cups here, Scorpio. And the Eight of Pentacles. Bottom of the deck, I've got the moon. Let's get another one with this five of pentacles and ten of cups. Let's clarify. I've got the Seven of Wands. I'm going to clarify this Two of Cups. Let's clarify this Two of Cups, please, for Scorpio. Thank you. Hmm. Manifestation. The uh, Magician Energy. It's interesting, Scorpio, because there's definitely an energy of, of lack. Uh, with the Five of Pentacles. Now, the Pentacles can represent our conscious reality. So our money career, our home, our property, our foundational relationships. Um, health, even. And there's definitely an energy if you've been challenged. I mean, the, the Seven of Wands is a card of challenge. Standing up for what you know to be true, defending what you know to be right, you know, being up against it. And it, it feels, I mean, the Ten of Cups is to do with a blissful, happy ever after relationship. 
um, harmony, two people who mir mirror each other perfectly. It definitely feels in this situation. It definitely feels in this situation that there has um, something's going on here. Now, obviously, with the pentacles energy, it can be something in your relationship or something that's affecting your relationship. It feels, it feels, it feels, Scorpio, that there is some kind of completion, major completion happening here, or you're waiting for something to complete. Because the five, it can be begrudging somebody else. You know, there can be a feeling with the five of pentacles of, oh, they're okay and I'm not, you know, um, being challenged up against it, you know, and it can be by the other person, you know, defending what you know to be true against somebody else. Um, it feels in this energy that something has gone wrong to do with a, a long-term relationship. But you're being told, interestingly enough, and it's made you feel lack. I mean, maybe not just lack in terms of self-worth, self-esteem, begrudging, and the difficulty in trying to overcome that because it's hard work to get back on track. But it could also have affected you financially. It feels like you've been up against it, going through the mill, in terms of dealing with this kind of challenge of what it felt like a long-term relationship or marriage. The message, however, Scorpio, is there's new romance for some of you and it's in the near future, which is interesting. Um, and that's what the cards are definitely saying because it's almost kind of like you're saying, I'm losing faith that this period of my life will ever end. Will I ever find the closure? Will something ever come to a close here? Because it feels, certainly with that Seven of Wands energy, you're constantly having to you know, defend, um, protect yourself, um, defend your against, self against the other person. It doesn't feel like it's finished well. And the, the star energy in the, it can be where you're losing faith or losing hope in the fact that something will ever end and you're never, you're never going to step through to a new phase of your life, you know? Um, This is about generally about new hope, uh, renewal, uh, renewal of sense of self, um, finding the path forward. But definitely in this energy, it just feels that something is holding you back from doing that, you know. I'm definitely getting the energy of difficult, maybe some difficulty in finding closure or this challenge that you've experienced, this ongoing, I want to say acrimony or um, is it ongoing, I can't remember the word, um, angst or you, you kind of get what I'm saying. But there's definitely this energy here of um, you're waiting to step into the new phase of your life. And it's not quite happening yet. Things haven't quite completed. Interestingly enough, the, the Two of Cups and the Magician, with the Romance card, we have romance in the near future. Someone's coming into your life and it's something exciting. A new door is opening. And that's what Spirit is saying. It says, in the near future, there is some kind of exciting opportunity with somebody. Now, this is, it holds potential, you know, the, the wand is about potential, growth, um, something that can really flourish and thrive if you take action towards it. So there is some new door here to open here, Scorpio, and it feels with somebody new, new love, a new connection, forming a new bond with somebody, manifesting a new bond with somebody. I'm feeling the magic here. Because the magician is magic, you know, the magician is your own, it's what, whatever you want to focus your um, intention on now and make happen, that is the magician energy. So there is definitely an energy of if you want to change something from negative to positive, an idea to reality, 
base metal to gold. The magician is now is the time to do that. But also I'm feeling communication here too. These communication energies, magic, connection, attraction, instant attraction. And with that magician, there's such potential. There really is. Uh, it's that spark. I mean, this is the spark. That is that spark energy with somebody. Um, so it definitely feels in this situation, maybe this has going on, been going on. Um, but finally, I feel for some of you, there is completion here. And we have, you know, this energy of the Eight of Pentacles, what you've been putting your energy and time into, putting your energy in the right direction to bring greater reward and stability and security in your life. It definitely feels in this situation with the world card, something finally completes this week or will do in the near future. Um, it definitely feels in this energy, Scorpio, something is coming to an end and you'll step through to a new phase of your life. I mean, this just feels like working through. It's been hard work, working through something, but it feels like it's been hard work. But you're finally mastering it with the Eight of Pentacles. Now, yes, this is also very good in terms of money and career. Um, so again, if there has been some financial hardship, this is bringing greater material success into your life, um, financial gain into your life through hard work, dedication. And... There's just a feeling of surrender, you know? The moon energy is, oh, I get it, I don't, yeah. There's, there's a feeling with the moon energy, I don't see the end in sight. How I don't feel the end in sight. I'm just working through something which is hard, hard work. That's what I'm getting here. I don't see this end in sight. Well, the mes message is the end is here. The end is coming. Even though you don't see the big picture, the universe does. And this is a card of hidden blessings. So the end is definitely coming here. Just keep focusing, doing what you're doing. And the message is that, you know, there will be surrender. There will be an opportunity to step through to a new phase of your life but it almost kind of is i don't i've got lack of clarity i don't see the end in sight i'm just working through this as best i can let's you've just been really challenged scorpio it just feels like somebody is really challenging you and you're just kind of like when is, when will it end well, the universe is saying, you know, it will just keep on doing what you're doing. Stay focused. It's going to end. Wow. Tower. Ten of Swords, the Moon. Let's pull one more card. I feel I need one more card. It just feels like you've been through a really challenging time. And there's an energy of, oh my goodness, you know, I'm losing faith that this will ever finish. It just feels like you've been... Somebody has just been really challenging you. One more card, please, for Scorpio. Thank you, angels, spirits, guides. One more card for Scorpio. Thank you. Two more cards then, yeah. 
Yeah, I've got the King of Cups, which is you, Scorpio, and the Chariot, Victory. Yeah, so the, the kind of message is there's hidden blessings. You've gone through, yeah, you have gone through challenge. The Tower is life-changing event, uh, truth, revelation, something that has destabilized, and it feels to do with some kind of relationship here. Um, and that, that tower comes crumbling down because the universe is releasing you from something that wasn't built to stand the test of time. It had weaknesses. As soon as it's tested, it crumbles uh, because it wasn't built on firm foundations. So there's definitely an energy here, Scorpio, of, of definitely this energy of, of working hard to rebuild your life while still dealing with some kind of challenge. Wow. Um, the moon energy is that you're being given some kind of hidden blessing behind the scenes, divine orchestration. You know, it's almost kind of like, when when will this tower ever end? I just don't see it ending. You know, I just don't see it ending. You know, and there's a lot of emotion involved in the moon energy as well. It, it feels in this situation, you're just kind of like going through it. And this Ten of Swords is a card of e pain, um, betrayal, hurt, truth cutting you so deeply, um, loss, sorrow, I mean call it what you will, it's, it's tough, tough energy. Um, but there's a new day, a new da day dawning in the distance, a new sun dawning in the distance that's pushing away the darkness of what this tower represented. This is, this for me, the Ten of Swords, the Ten is a completion in tarot, it feels like this is ending. The emotional pain, the pain that's been caused to it is ending. A period of real difficulty is ending because you will have the opportunity here, Scorpio, to rise above the emotions once more, the sea. Um, you know, remember the king masters the ocean and the ocean, the water in tower represents our emotions and feelings. So there's definitely an energy of rising above something here and being in your element once more. The perseverance, the hard work. Oh my goodness. I really do feel for you. You know, there's going to be victory here. You will be victorious. That this is victory from determination, perseverance, pulling the reins of your life into balance and leaving that which doesn't matter to you anymore behind you and going towards the new goal, victory and success, achieving victory and success. And all the while you're being told the canopy of the night sky, the universe is watching over you on this journey. So you're being guided towards victory and success. It might well be for some of you, things just happen. Some coincidence message, um, there's a kind of feeling here, Scorpio, that I'm getting with this moon energy that you might just find things just start easing and you're not quite sure how or why or um, how things, synchronicities just seem to kind of like alleviate the situation. But the message is that you're going to be victorious. There is new romance coming to you in the near future for some of you as well, but it feels that you have had such a job to overcome something that felt very... Uh, again, I want to say acrimonious, um, in putting a difficult relationship behind you. Yeah, wow. Yeah, you know, the devil, putting a very difficult relationship behind you and breaking free because, yeah, they cause you pain. But you will have that chance to break free of that devil. Remember, the world card is actually breaking free of the Saturnian hold. So, you know, we have Saturn with the devil, and this is about breaking free. Wow, there is, it's a tough energy, Scorpio, but obviously it resonates with somebody. Very, very challenging energy. Are you going to be okay? Yeah. Will you come through the other side? Yes. Is completion near? Yes, just keep on doing what you're doing. And even though you don't know it, you're heading for victory and success and putting it behind you and moving on. Wow, I'm going to pull you a difficult... <laughs> I'm going to pull you a card. I was going to say, I was trying to say difficult reading. I'm going to pull you a card and then, yeah. 
So we have ask for help. Angels are celestial beings who protect everyone. And the fairies say now is the time for you to ask for angelic assistance. Again, it's that moon energy. Hidden blessings, you're being guided on this journey. Um, and it's going to end. I mean, the thing is, it's going to end. We have light. The fairy queen of light comes to shed love and light onto your current situation and to remind you that light can penetrate the darkness. And that's exactly what's happening here. The light is piercing through that difficult time. So uh, I definitely feel that you're heading towards the light here, Scorpio. Um, seeing the light at the end of the tunnel, then there will be people who are on hand to help you. Certainly the universe is. I can definitely see that in the cards. Two moon cards. There's definitely a hidden blessings, divine orchestration, things going on behind the scenes. And again, that star card is you're being watched over guided. You will find that right path forward. But yeah, it just feels like it's been a really challenging time for you. Um, but there will be light at the end of this tunnel. And that's what I love. That's what I absolutely love. So I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful, a wonderful week for you, Scorpio. And I will see you next time. Thank you.